I'm here at St. Mary's Church in Stewart, Florida. St. Mary's is one of the oldest churches in the area, and inside the church are some beautiful stained glass windows. Those windows are going to be removed over the next few days, but before they're taken out, I'm going to make some photographs of them so I can make transparent reproductions to hang in the openings while they're away being restored. So come on inside, let's take a look, and I'll show you what's going on. So these stained glass windows were originally installed in the 60s. Each window beautifully illustrates a story from the Bible. But unfortunately, they've warped and they've cracked over the years. And they need to be restored. They'll be removed over the next few days, and my photographs will hang in their place. The first step is to photograph the windows in place using their natural backlight. I originally photographed these windows using a Nikon D800 a few years ago for a book project we did. Today I'm updating these images with my Nikon D810. The Nikon 800 series are high resolution and work very well in low light. They will provide me with clean, perfectly rendered files with accurate color so I can print beautiful transparencies on my wide format Epson printer. So while I'm preparing the files to be printed, the windows are being removed at the church by representatives from architectural glass company Willett Hauser. This is the same company that originally manufactured and installed them in 1965. The windows have been in place for a long time and have many weak areas. So this is a delicate operation. The windows are being crated up and will be transported to Texas where restoration experts will work on them over the next few months. I'm here at my print shop where I am printing the transparencies using my fine art Epson printer. I am printing them on an inkjet film made by Sill Digital Imaging called Window Graphics Film. It's very easy to work with. It has an adhesive that is called Easy Tack, which is very forgiving. I couldn't be happier with the way these look. 